this is a roundup of the weekend's work. I've been working flat out to fit this solar panel, 215 watt, 24 volt. I've used my aluminium 4040 extrusion. I put a long piece on the passenger side of the van. This goes all the way to the front of the van and it measures 3.2 meters. It's secured inside to the original Mercedes mounting points. I've used a 4040 radius at the front. This gives me a small amount of aerodynamic or lower drag coefficient over the panel. And as you can see, it's only very, very slightly higher than the sunroof. And if you look down low, it doesn't protrude much above the height of the van. I've secured it down through there with Torx into the sliding nuts. And again, at the front of the panel, I've secured that with Allen keys and I've put rib nuts in the panel. Just here, I've used the quick connectors to connect the 4040 to the front radius. And again, down there, you can see the holes where I've secured the panel to the side rail using rib nuts and Torx. I've used three rib nuts on each side and two front and rear to secure the panel. I put a piece of square section across the rear. In the future, this will be useful to run wires inside this channel if I want to put any LED lights up or perhaps a TV aerial or Wi-Fi. Again, looking down through, there's a torque or Allen key secured with a sliding nut. These slide into this rail perfectly. Every bolt I've used is an eight mil thread except for these huge quick connectors which have turned out to be fantastic a lot of work drilling out this 17 mil hole but once you've got the tool and the drill set up it makes everything so much better so that's the quick connector this is a 10 mil slot which slots in there perfectly this allows me to drill 17 mil which i'm going to try for the first time so after a little bit of experimenting, I found I need to prop it up on a ladder and put the drill as fast or faster than it usually would go. And it does it quite well. So that has to go in. I'll try and do the Allen key up one-handed. Put it in the light. That. That is my first one. Quite pleased with that. little plastic plugs in they're all sealed up and they give a rail a little bit of height this is the only way to support the aluminium with a piece of wood I'm sliding on the big long 3.2 meter one I've got my wife holding it up with a stick and I'm gonna slide it forward onto these nuts okay forward stop That's on, forward. Stop. Yeah, forward. I'm gonna use this Decasil MS2. I suppose, I suppose it's the same as Sikaflex five, one two or five two two. I used it in the past to stick a new skylight on my caravan. I know it works well. So every nut is now secured with an Allen key. 
I think the best thing to do is take each one out, put a lot of sealer around it, inside and outside. I may smooth that sealer over to make it look pretty, but I don't think there's any need. That one slide into the recess in the panel. As you can see, the cedar is pouring out. I've already made a start securing the panel to this 4040 extrusion. I've drilled 11 mil holes and fitted some rib nuts in. All I need to do is fit the aluminium rail which I can which I can slide along to exactly where I need it and then through this little hole you can pop in an allen key. So the progress so far, if you can hear me, is the left rail is on and secured and sealed. And again, the right rail, which is much shorter because I'm not having an awning on the driver's side, that rail is secured. I put the front radius on and I've secured it downwards with an Allen key. That is the only way of doing it but at least I can move it backwards and forwards to align with these lines. It misses the sunroof and it's aerodynamic on the solar panel which is coming next. For anyone that's interested I've clamped this part down. I have a hole to secure it to this rail. The solar panel has got two 8mm torques into rib nuts. I've got three rib nuts on this side and I'm just at the crucial stage of slotting this in in there. Now I can slot in my profile. Now I can slot the profile in at the rear first. And I've got enough room to slot it in at the front. It is very tight. Millimeter perfect. I can then rotate my slot. Tightening each Allen key as I go. I've made it so that I can remove the panel if I need to. So fast forward five minutes, all the screws are tight. I'm happy with that. Now I need to lock in the quick connector. This should winch it all together tight. These are perhaps some of the most, or some of the strongest ways to fix. That is really strong, really tight. So just the last one to do at the rear. just gone super solid so I know it's doing a great job I just need to tighten this corner and this corner everything looks great I can't
can't go back far enough. There, I lean on my house. I've mounted it perfectly in the centre. And it should have a low drag coefficient with my radius and also the sunroof in the way. Probably am going over the top on this. So that grommet is sealed. That gives me a little bit of height just in case the gland leaks. And is to put this down and walk away. Push it down into place. I can see the sealer. So that's correctly loaded, it's level, that's quite perfect, but I need to put the wire in. So the wire goes through, and I'll try and show you this as I crimp. You crimp it down, all the way, and release. You should end up with two spirals. So you should end up with two spirals on a perfect crimp. This then pushes into here until you hear a click. Like that. Once you've inserted the gland fully, this piece needs to go on the end. Like that. This needs to be tightened. This needs to be tightened and you actually think, you think that's done up. But if you use the proper tool to clamp it in place and the proper spanner, this actually slips. So you manage to get it a little bit tighter and then the spanner slips. So the little rubber's back in. The wires are going to join about here. So I can connect this one. Job done. And I can connect this one. Job done. As I lower the panel, I'll try and pull the wires through nice and tight, stop any vibration, and tighten the glands as well. As you can see up on the roof, the wires come through the gland. I've cable tied them into the original wiring, and I'm just going to run those down 